uh, I'm a Cuban immigrant. So I have a, I have it embedded in my DNA to hate communism. <laughs> so uh, my father was born in 1945. So he was born pre-revolutionary Cuba. Um, so he was able to experience a little bit of the Batista regime. Um, and my family was what you would call relatively well off. <clears throat> Not rich, like they weren't middle class, but they were like a upper level working class. And, you know, my, my grandfather did own his own property. Um, and they weren't poor, but then the revolution came and um, we did have family members who did lose property. Um, we had family members who early on before the whole revolution actually happened, who defected to the United States. Um, my dad was forced to be in the Soviet uh, army because uh, that was a mandatory thing in Cuba. Um, and he, well, he went through a lot. So in the 1980s, when the Mario boat lifts were happening, um, before that he was kind of, he kept below the radar, um, to sort of keep his political opinion to himself, to not jeopardize his job because he had a fairly good job. He was an electrician. He was making fairly good money. But then when the Mario boat lifts were happening that Cubans were allowed to leave the island. My dad said, no, fuck this. Like, I don't want to stay under this regime. I'm, I can't deal with this. And he presented himself to leave. And of course they told him, well, you can go, but your wife and your parents have to stay. And he was like, no, I'm not leaving my family behind. Fuck it, I'll stay. And of course he lost his job. He was uh, sent out to work in the fields for slave wages. Um, I had another uncle who was put in ver like concentration camp because he spoke out against the government. Um, my dad has a cousin who was killed by a uh, firing squad because he spoke out against the government. Um, so then later on, like fast forward another couple of years after my brother was born, um, my dad was given the opportunity to uh, get on a boat and you know, come to the US illegally. And again, he declined it because he was like, I'm not, I'm not endangering my family. I'm not doing that. And I'm gonna do things the right way. And when he had finally given up and said, fuck it, I'm just gonna stay in this country because clearly it's not in the cards for us to come over. Um, he won a, like a lottery to get a visa for our whole family. So my mom, my dad, my brother and myself and the four of us came over legally on a plane um, with visas in 95. So we've been here ever since. And you know, my dad's retired now. He worked for the city where I grew up in. Um, and I was able to go to college. My brother's got a great job. He's got, he owns his own house. My dad owns his house, doesn't have a mortgage because um, he persisted. So. American dream. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's one of my things that it's bullshit that, you know, my father and rather my family, who we literally came to this country with only the clothes on our backs, were able to achieve the American dream. And I was able to go to a, to a university, four-year university, and attain a college degree, and then get a career. And I live on my own now. And, you know, I, I was able to achieve it you know, because I worked for it and the government didn't help us. They helped us when we first got here because, you know, we were government assistance for a little bit, but as soon as my dad got a job, my mom went to the, literally went to the social security office and told them, uh, where do I cancel all the stuff that you guys are giving us? Cause we don't need it anymore. And the lady was like shocked. She was like, nobody's ever come here to like cancel government assistance <laughs> so yeah well it sounds like you can give quite a uh, uh just your experience is pretty valuable especially to, to this you know the discussion we'll have today yeah so, definitely. thanks for thanks for joining us yeah um, i vote uh i vote 
her and as vice president, we give her the floor for the next hour because that's really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I mean, no, seriously, I mean, <laughs> seriously, that's amazing. I've I've never talked to somebody who's who's gone through that. I mean, that's that's absolutely fascinating. I mean, yeah. we talk great. about it in an abstract, but you've lived it, and that's yeah. right, and survived. That's absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Jeff, you want to follow that? <laughs> no. <laughs>